Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here, and this week I'm going over another kits uh, tutorial. Now, um, this one's what I personally use. The kits plugin I went over last week is fantastic. It lets you do a lot of in-game stuff. It's very flexible. However, there are some limitations that Essentials Kit allows you to get around. Now, um, I did do a tutorial on Essentials Kit or Essentials, and it's uh, somewhere link probably down here. Check it out. Nah, it's over to my side. Go check it out. Um, I think I probably glossed over this one. I've had some personal problems with getting kits working. It's changed from time to time. I'm going over it. Let's get into it. So you're going to go to your config file in your in your essentials. You're going to scroll down uh, to find this kits area. If you don't have Notepad++ yet, what are you waiting for? Get it. It's fantastic. It's color-coded. It puts spaces in. It's so much better than a Notepad. And I'm told that you can, you can edit it. So uh, it's one of the options. You can set tab to be spaces, which this stuff, it's for spaces. But you can't do tab. Otherwise, it'll mess everything up. So here we go. We got our kits. Uh, it has a bunch of default ones. I modified it because I wanted to reflect from last week. So we got the guard kit. Now your delay is basically your cooldown period. I just put 10 seconds because that's what we're testing for one hour. I think it's 3600 and then you just kind of multiply that out if you only want them every day or 48 hours whatever then you use your item id the number amount and then any kind of enchantments or modifications you can also name the item here instead of lore you would just do name and then the item name so if you want to put a space in lore or the item name you got to put this underscore if you want to put a next line you put that in there we just want to do a space so we got our our um, chain mail items all enchanted to protection four. We got a diamond sword that's uh, enchanted to sharp five with a lore of guard stick. And then uh, we got our uh, food. Slide note, when I was testing all this out, I was accidentally enchanting meat. So I don't know how much damage meat enchanted power five would do, but I was trying to do that. So anyway... That's pretty much it. It, Like I said, it's pretty basic as far as the back-end modification. However, it does lack that flexibility of being able to change it on the fly. There is no in-game modification to the kits commands. It's all server-based, config file-based. Also, it also, you also have this kit command or sign. Be sure to enable it if you want to use it. You can also then scroll all the way down. Where is it? Where is it? I forgot where it was. Set home. Command cost. In the command cost, you can also then uh, set the, a kit command. So you would just do kit uh, hyphen uh, guard. And then if you want the kit to be a cost of whatever it is, so let's hop into the uh, let's hop into the server. I'll show you how it works in game, and I'll also lay out the permission nodes that you'll need. So let's hop. Let's close out down that. Hey, and we're back. Here we are in our server, and uh, I think I'm a guard. Let's test. Yep, I'm still a C guard. Now there's no cost of the command that I did. So you just do. You can do slash kits. You can see the kits that are available for you, and then you can do kit guard and it's gonna bam give you all the stuff you need and i am cr in creative mode right now uh let's that's fine uh we'll just leave that i am not op i just set myself from the thing so if you want to use the signs you got the kit the kit name if you want to uh rather than giving them per specific permission nodes uh it'll look for this group first if you don't specify this it'll look for the permission node uh, which is why i didn't fill that in because we've set it up the permission node and then also you can set the cost in here so i guess that there's some in-game modification you could do to the kits however the delay is not in-game modified but yeah you right click on that and you're good to go i think let's see if uh Yep, so it's got the cooldown timer. That's about it. Last but not least is the permission nodes that you need. The first one is just essential.kit. That's your basic com command that will allow people to access kits. And then for each individual kit, you'll do essential.kits. Whatever the name of it. Now keep in mind that's kits with an S. Um, and then the default is just kit singular. Now 
uh, they kind of they've been changing that back and forth. I've had some problems, so if you ever have problems where you do an update and then it doesn't work anymore, just check to make sure those permission nodes are correct. And that's about it. Like I said, it's pretty straightforward. This is a very small part of Essentials, um, and that's all. Next week, I think I'm going to go over the jail plugin that I found that I want to use in my pr prison server build. Once I've gone over that, the following week. Hopefully, I might be out of town, but hopefully we'll be able to get uh, you a pr prison server config build with some directions on how to use it. All that you need to do is actually build the pr prison server, all the configuration, everything like that will be done, and you can use it all you want. Uh, feel free to uh, give me credit if you like. I don't care. I'm putting it out there for you guys to use. Um, let me see. I think that's it for that. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that you can do for modifying the kits in the back end. Go ahead and check out the wiki. It'll be in the description for the command signs with specific links to the kits. Uh, you can change the color of the name, stuff like that. It's crazy what you can do. Pretty cool. Have some fun with it. And if you found this helpful, please like, subscribe, comment, let me know. Also, if you have a plugin that you'd like me to go over, feel free to suggest that. This week was partially my idea because we went over the kits command last week and I wanted to go over how I use it. But it's also requested by Panda O Games. So, um, yeah, feel free to request that. If you have any questions, feel free to post those. I'll do my best to respond. So this is Cos from McFriends, and as always, enjoy the game. Oh.